Hey, here is Abhiram Vashisht from ARV Now and you are watching our first video on iOS 7 on Android. So let's get started. Basically, it's a combination of applications which will work on any Android device as I like the new iOS 7. So I assembled them all to have a device running on it or we can say look like it. So first is our lock screen. To me, it looks very pleasant and great. As you can see, it has its own control center. You can access camera from here just like on an iPhone and you can put a pin code on lock as well. So let's get into it. So you can see the animations are just like the original one and other animation are also the same like if I would go into any app, the in animation as well as the out animation are also the same as iPhone and looks cool. The status bar is also same and transparent. If I would pull it out again, it looks awesome as an iPhone does. And in here, there are two panels. First is today and second is all where the notifications are as well as it also shows banners. When a notification comes, a main control center is also here, which is another application. In this control center, there are variety of toggles to switch on. You can adjust brightness, media sound, ring sound, as well as normal and vibrate profiles. Here are some shortcuts also present like torch, clock, calculator, and camera. I have a keyboard app, which is very good to use with number kiro and awesome to use with swipe. Now I am going to tell you the applications required for all the iOS 7. First is fake iPhone iOS 7 lock screen which you can get from the Play Store for free. Second is iLauncher, launcher which is also available on Play Store but it's a paid application. Third is iNoti. It is also available on Play Store but it's a paid application. Fourth is iOS 7 control center which is free on Play Store. Fifth is LG Optimus G Pro keyboard. You can google it and find it. It's free there. Thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. Peace.